we start with a base of, mm, I remember fairy tales as this, and then you make it your own. You get the actor, and it throws a little different dimension to it. I'm the place to go. And of course, the hardest part of my job is the timeline because we have basically a week. Within that time, I have to research and develop it all in my head, get it into the workroom, fit it, age it, paint it, dye it, do the embroidery, all of that. It's a very fast process. They all are very, very different. Snow is a noble and her color palette is soft. Prince Charming, you know, very, very heroic, but simple. Evil Queen, there's an awful lot of uh, dark beading that's involved, so we'll apply those to like her collar, to her cuffs, to her bodice. Sorry I'm late. It takes quite a bit of time and quite a good eye for our workroom, and they're used to it. I think the most successful one we've ever done was the first Rumpelstiltskin. It just came out and was better than I thought it would be. We'll look for the right reptilian piece, those things make him a little more wicked. I'll do whatever it takes to help my sister. <laughs> whatever it takes. I oh, love it when they say that. One of the things I was sorry about that I didn't do in the first Maleficent was a much more elaborate headpiece. And now the new headpiece will be more like the cartoon. And uh, I think it's going to be quite spectacular. We tried to make the whole show have a little bit of this wonderful sex appeal uh, in order to lift the show. You know, it's a joy to work with, with people who are really serious at their craft.